Hello everyone, and welcome back to yet another video on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. I wanted to revisit a topic that we discussed in my last video, where we talked about 10 more quality of life changes I'd like to see the devs make. Uh, I got a lot of great comments and responses, and many people seem to agree with the close encounter topic that that could use some changes. So with yesterday's announcement in the new Muerto Times of some changes coming to Grappler, this seemed like the perfect time to talk about some alternative options because no, let's be honest, no, no one likes to mash. We all cherish our controllers and keyboards too much to want to break them while trying to grapple Johnny or a Leland or a Anna. And if I'm not mistaken, I, I think Gunn did mention that they are still going to look at the close encounter mechanic, whether this is solely in this upcoming change to Grappler or if it's a full on mechanic rework, we don't know for sure, I guess. It could be coming in addition to this Grappler change even, um, or it could be coming sometime down the road. We don't know. Um, the patch notes aren't officially out yet, so maybe we'll find out in there. Uh, I guess only time will tell, but for now, I think it's a fun idea to maybe discuss some alternatives. The first alternative option I want to mention is one that someone actually brought up to me in my last video, and that is the system that is currently in the mobile game Dragon Ball Legends, where you have the Time Those Taps minigame. I'll be honest, I've never even heard of this game until now, but I did my research, and I think this op option honestly has some potential. It's similar to kind of how field goals work in Madden games, uh, where you basically have to press a button when the meter or the line reaches the highest point in the arc. In this case, it's only a one button press, so it's a little different from those and definitely different from the current mashing system. This could work and they could certainly determine who wins the grapple based on maybe who got closer to filling the meter. Of course, they would have to account for ties in some way, but I'm sure that already exists with the current system. Um, so they could probably just transfer that over to this one. Another option that could work is one I mentioned in the last video, and that is of the arm wrestling in the new Outlast Trials game. Um, now, I think this is a super fun option, uh, but with the way grapples work, this could take a while. So I'm not really sure it would be the best option, especially considering you would still have to account for perks like grappler. Now, I guess you could maybe eliminate one of the... Uh, clicks you'd have to do to make it a little shorter, but overall I still feel like it would be longer They would probably have to put some sort of cap or at least adjust it in some way to maybe make it shorter or quicker for both players I'm not really sure if this one would work, but I did still think it was worth mentioning again I can't believe I didn't think of this until now But why don't we bring back a familiar mechanic from that of our beloved Friday the 13th both players could be given the same mini game with a few button prompts and say maybe whoever completes it first would win or you could have it go until the player messes up. But again, this kind of treads the water of, uh, of Outlast Trials where it could go on for a while. You know, sometimes even the skill checks in Friday the 13th did take a long time, depending on, you know, how smart your character was. Again, I'm not sure if this is the best method as it could take a while, but the way the mechanic works still felt like it was worth mentioning. Now, last but not least, I think we do need to talk about a few of the mechanics in Dead by Daylight. There's the normal skill check mechanic for when you're working on generators. And there's also a similar one, but a little different to when you're on your second hook. This one has no special skill check zone, so it's just one generic skill check area. This one could work maybe, but again, I still think it'd be too slow of a mechanic to really decide an outcome fast. Could they speed up the skill checks? Sure. But then at that point, it's kind of the same as the F13 one here and there. And, um, you know, at that point, What's the point? <laughs> um, the other mechanic that Dead by Dale offers is one that I did mention in the last video, and that's where you're disarming school merchants drones. Um, it does bring up this quick little mini game where you have to press random arrow directions in order in order to disable the drone and basically try not mess up and do it as fast as you can. It's quick and could be endless if that's what they wanted to decide to make the win scenario. Honestly, how I think it would be best for TCM would be if they got rid of the string of five and maybe did make it infinite or at least had it cycle through one by one, kind of like a quick time event situation. If you did this, you could apply the same logic the game currently uses with strength, grappler boost, etc., and apply it to this. And you know, you can see how fast either the person correctly picks the keys or the buttons if you're on a controller. Um, personally, I'd say this method is the best or that of the Dragon Ball Legends. I'd say these, either of these two probably have the best potential. Now, one thing that would need to be considered is how this potential change would affect, for the moment, it's eight perks that are all tied to close encounters in some way or another. Um, for victims, you have Choose Fight, Empowered, Fight and Flight, Fight Back, and Grappler, and for family, it's Dracula, Spore, Loser, and Warmed Up. 
and additionally we have the grandpa ability suffocating grip really the only two that this applies to is grappler and suffocating grip as they are you know directly affecting the mini game the rest only pertain to the outcome of the close encounter again like i mentioned above i think it'd be easy to take the current systems uh kind of like grace mechanic for if you have extra strength or whatever and convert it to however it makes most sense you know if you have that uh, if you have grappler or suffocating grip or if you have a high strength build maybe you get some extra points toward your score if you know they go with the dragon ball meter method or maybe you have one less button to press if it's the school merchant mechanic you know who knows if or when they would ever change this mechanic i know in f13 you did have to spam the button if you were jason uh, if you ever knocked down and that stayed in the game obviously you know like unfortunate circumstances happened to the game but here we are um, but in the new age of gaming I think it's at least something that should be discussed and you know give people some alternative options I'm not saying they need to completely remove the player versus player interaction as I do think that is very much important to the game but I think it'd be nice to at least not have to mash every single close encounter because you know whether you're playing family or victim it, it happens a lot that said Thank you everyone for listening. If you think I missed an idea, please do share it down below in the comments. And if you agreed with any of these, let me know which one you think is best. I'd love to hear. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.